We're at Mexicali Live in Teaneck, New Jersey at the Mardi Gras party that Michael Arnone, head honcho, creator of the Crawfish Festival, does every year. This is your third annual uh, Mardi Gras party at yeah. Mexicali Live? Yeah, we started doing this about three years ago as uh, a little preview to the Crawfish Fest. What makes you choose Mexicali Live as your venue? I got a good relationship with the owner. Uh, they got a great staff, a great reputation, and we, uh, we gel. So this is the warm-up. This is the warm-up before the big event. Is this the only warm-up that you do, this Mardi Gras event? Is this the one warm-up that you do before your big crawfish festival? Uh, we had one in New York City last week, and we're going to do one in uh, Virginia next week on Mardi Gras Day. Wow, so you have now, you have several. So what do you do, just three, or is do you do even more than that? Uh, it's going to be like four. Four little parties, and you know, it just gets everybody ready talking about Crawfish Fest. So tell me about what you have in the lineup for the Crawfish Festival this year. Oh God, we've got uh, 28 bands on four stages. Sunny Landreth, we've got... Uh, the new master sounds with uh, Art Neville, the Radiators, who are retiring. So this is going to be a big show with them. We've got Tab Benoit, Anders Osborne, uh, Gino Delafos. It just goes on and on. So this is a very exciting thing. You started this Crawfish Festival how many years ago? Twenty. This will be our 22nd year. Okay, that's a long time, but you did this not really as a music-oriented festival, but was it more of a food fest? It started out because I was hungry for Louisiana food, and we had a couple of bands, and people really liked it. So I said, you know what, we'll do it again, and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So now tell me, is this your only job, doing the Crawfish Festival and working on the, the, all that goes into it on the back end to make it happen every year? Yeah, pretty much. This is it. Well, it's exciting to know that we have something like this in New Jersey that is so rooted in New Orleans and New Orleans culture, New Orleans style, New Orleans style music, and all the great food that goes with it. Why do you give this to New Jersey? Well, I came up here to work in the mid-80s, and I was homesick, and I had a little party, and it just got bigger and bigger. And the people of New Jersey have embraced it. You know, that's their kickoff to the summer every year. So why don't you just move up here to Jersey? I have a code and I'm going home tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Well, it's great speaking with you. And I, I wish you well in, in your Mardi Gras party here tonight and also in all your preparations for the Crawfish Festival. That's coming up again when? June 3, 4, and 5. And... There's a lot of information on crawfishfest.com. Okay. All right, thank you. Michael Arnone, Crawfish Festival creator right here, live at Mexicali Live here for the Mardi Gras warm-up party. Thank you, Michael Arnone. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Great. I appreciate it. My name is Christine Vitali for WFDU-FM.